Hello everybody and welcome to Luxury Benefits channel. My name is Sviatoslav and today we will talk about dangers of ice laser surgery, about the effectiveness of ice relaxation and natural restoration of vision and about the founder of natural eyesight recovery methods Dr. William Bates dangers of ice laser surgery. In essence is ophthalmic surgery of corneal shape and correction of refractive errors carried out using laser technology. For those who have worn glasses all their lives, the idea itself overnight getting a clear vision can seem very tempting. But let me stop you right now until you have even the thought of laser surgery flash through. According to research, this surgery doesn't provide 100% guaranteed safety and effectiveness. Often, even after full recovery, patients do not receive the promised perfect vision, while patients whose vision reached 100% immediately after the procedure note its gradual deterioration and over time eyesight getting worse. Because the main reason for poor vision and inability to give the eyes a rest and proper relaxation still is there. In addition to the dubious effectiveness, eye surgery procedure also carries a bunch of painful consequences. Now we will talk about side effects and complication after this procedure according to the FDA. Episodic attacks of astigmatism in growth of the epithelium, diffuse lamilla keratitis, DLK, keratotonus dry eyes, eyes infections, dilated pupils, glare effect or double vision in the eyes, which affects visual acuity at night, problems with the flap placed in front of the cornea after procedures, vision problems resulting from treatment, which cannot be adjusted with glasses or contact lenses. Please note also that the eye surgery procedure is not cheap, so that you can imagine what amounts are going to be spent, depending on the type of procedure or laser technology to be used. You still want to be exposed to this costly procedure, having read about the undesirable consequences with which it threatens me not. Help of exercises for the eyes. Will they help to restore vision? Some programs promise to restore vision when help with regular eye exercises. And also this uh, approach is undoubtedly natural. I'm afraid that strengthening, increasing tone and training all six muscles of the eye is simply not will solve the problem. Because with nearsightedness or myopia, for example, we need to relax muscle spasm of interior oblique and superior oblique and to strengthen only straight muscle spasm, superior, interior, lateral and medial erectus. And with farsightedness or hyperopia opposite, we need to relax superior, interior, lateral and medial erectus and stretchen interior oblique and superior oblique. For this we have to do exercises in a completely different way. It's important to understand that your vision is not perfect for the reason that you expose your eye muscle to excessive tension and stress and decrease muscle ability to contract. If to make exercises for the eyes incorrectly, it can give your muscle even more stress, bringing more harm than good. So instead of getting nervous training to find a way to restore your eyes to health, I recommend doing straight the opposite. What do you really need to your eyes? It is to learn how to relax, rest, 
Some people naturally restore perfect vision without tension that you once enjoy as a child, as a source of stress that is burdensome and detrimental affects the eyes is completely hidden in the mind in the first place. It is imperative and immediately necessary to deal with your personal stresses. Relaxation is a good starting point. I usually use many of the techniques from a variety of books, journals, magazines in my practice and I strongly recommend it to everyone explore. The Bates method 100 years old. An approach that helps restore vision naturally. Together with that, I strictly adhere to a healthy diet, eating, exercising, and sunbathing regularly. I began to study baits and the techniques that help restore vision in natural way. Who is Dr. William Bates? Dr. Bates received a traditional education in ophthalmology at the Cornell University in the United States. Over 30 years practice and experience of working with tens of thousands of patients revealed to him eyes on the serious flaws in traditional views of science about vision, which took place at the turn of the 20th century. He was also a first person who opened a natural way of vision recovery much ahead of the time even from the point of view of modern medicine among doctors he was known as a great original which devoted his life to studying the causes of the development of problems in people with poor vision such as myopia, hyperopia, presbyopia and astigmatism. Dr. Bates distrusted traditional, clumsy and relatively inaccurate Snellen tables, which are still used by ophthalmologists, for checking and evaluating the sharpness of his patient's vision, he applied a much more accurate retinoscope. This instrument measures the refraction of the eye by guiding a ray of light onto the pupil using a specular reflection, while could be used as an external light source. It was located behind the subject, above him, and built into the instrument and powered by rechargeable battery. For 30 years, Dr. Bates has used this tool in a wide variety of clinical conditions by examining the eyes thousands of various patients school children, babies and even animals including cats, dogs, rabbits, horses, cows, birds, turtles, reptiles and fish. Hard work and preservance allowed him to reveal some basic principles that help people improve their vision without the use of glasses or surgical intervention. Ultimately, he presented his method, the Bates method, an approach that is already 100 years old and which helped naturally restore normal vision to thousands of people, including me. Why you may not know about the Bates method? In the early 1900s, Dr. Bates shared his serious observation with the entire ophthalmic community. He told them that everything that they had taught throughout the last century was wrong and caused patients more harm than good. Because his alternative approach turned out to be so effective, a leading ophthalmologist felt a danger for business. They took business in their own hands and in every way tried to keep down this approach. They simply could not come to terms with the competition that was in a new Bates approach. Many years after, I discovered a natural vision recovery techniques and relaxation of eyes methods. 
My vision began to improve and get more clear and I began to enjoy simple looking into the distance and distant objects from the new skills to relax the eyes and face muscle and from the easy exercise for stretching and restoring the tone and elasticity of the eye muscles. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Today we learn about the danger of eyes laser surgery, about the effectiveness of eyes relaxation and natural restoration of vision and about the founder of this method, Dr. William Bates. I hope it will help you. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you again.